The discovery of three-year-old Riley Fox's body in the Forked River in Wilmington six years ago sent shockwaves through the small town. Investigators sealed off the area while they gathered potential evidence. And among what they found near the body were two gym shoes with the name E.B. written on the inside tongue. Had they looked into it more closely, they might have quickly learned the shoes were issued by the Department of Corrections. And Scott Eby, who was on parole at the time, might have entered their radar as a suspect. Instead, several months later, they charged Riley's father, Kevin Fox, with the murder and announced they were seeking the death penalty. Kevin and Melissa Fox spoke to ABC's 2020. I still had people coming up to me and saying I was a child killer, a child molester. DNA tests eventually excluded Kevin Fox as a suspect and he was released after eight months. I think they deliberately did it because they didn't want anything to interfere with their theory that Kevin was guilty. Kathleen Zellner says she just became aware of the shoes within the last few weeks after authorities filed murder charges against the alleged owner of the shoes, Scott Eby. She says it's one of several examples of possible evidence against Eby investigators overlooked. The same DNA that excluded Kevin Fox now implicates Scott Eby. I think they should look into obstruction of justice charges because that's exactly what happened here. He stole something very important from the world. You know, she's gone, and there's not this amazing girl here anymore, but there's disgusting people like him here. Kevin and Melissa Fox won an $8 million civil judgment against Will County. It's still under appeal. The Sheriff's Department spokesperson for Will County declined to comment on this case. Scott Eby, meantime, is scheduled to be indicted by the grand jury for murder tomorrow morning in court. John Garcia, ABC 7 News. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC 7 Chicago Eyewitness News.